everyone and welcome back to this series that today we're gonna be giving it a name because we had some amazing name suggestions from you in the comments of the previous episode and i really want to thank you for that and please 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 keep on doing that keep giving us your comments maybe for the next time we're gonna be choosing a name for some areas like this district over here or this district over here but i want you to continue giving me your comments and your thing and don't forget to subscribe and share the video so we can continue getting to more people and now let's go through the episode but right before we start building i want to show you what i did off camera because when the episode went off air the last time we didn't have this area built and i told you that i was going to be doing that off camera right now you can see that we grow this area here we have some commercial and we still have this area available for us another thing that i told you that i was going to do was to build this main avenue that will serve like a yeah like a collector road it's gonna go through the whole area and we bought this tile over here so we can continue this avenue over here and this area is now more available with less traffic because everybody has the ability to come through here and go to a fast route go all the way to the city and you can see that people is spreading only where they need but before we had a lot of traffic in here in here and every other every that and where other thing that i wanted to show you was that i made a good use of the the content creator pack bridge and stuff that i don't quite remember the name and we had this bridge that really looked like what we are looking to do in here and for this episode our plan if we can stick to that is to make some shops and commercial areas in here but in high density we're going to be making good use of the buildings that we have for high density that resemble the team that we have in here and maybe for this area we're going to be making some high density housing and as well we're gonna be doing that in this side but i don't think that we're gonna get to that in this episode one thing that i had to have in mind is that we are gonna bring a lot of people to this area and maybe later to this area here so we need to make another area for them to work and that's what we're gonna be doing in here we're gonna build a forestry area a forestry industry that we're going to be building in here so all the new people that come to the city we're going to be able to work on that so without anything else to add let's start building this episode
get it right. Here we are at our first high density designated area. And I quite love the type of building that we have in here. They look very different, but I think that I have the solution for that. And is to change all the trees of these buildings in here to resemble more the vibe that we have in the map. And that's gonna be done with Bob. One thing that maybe you had noticed is that all my icons are very small and that's because I am spending more of the power of my PC in the image that we have. So we have a bigger resolution and that's why you can see all these things small. Remember that I am playing on a Mac and I have to use the mods that I have available. I don't have dynamic resolution. I don't have um, the one that, that plays with the daylight. I don't have some chef and I have to play with what I have. So that's a small issue when you are playing with Mac. Another thing that I want to tell you about that in here, I love what I see here, but the thing is that we have low amount of people to work on these areas. That's why we are getting all these abandoned, but that's one thing that we're gonna be working on that as we get more people to get to the city. We're gonna, we're about to see a major traffic jam in here because of all the people that's gonna be trying to get to this area in a moment. And in here, I, gone, I am going to do the same with the bob. I'm gonna replace the, the trees, at least the big ones, because they look quite different when you see it from here. You can see that this is very different from what you can see here. So we're gonna, waste a little bit of time by changing that another idea that came to me in this area was to make this is like a park these are from a collection called paris i don't quite remember the asset creator and i decided to make here like a small like a small park of um like a market and then I decided to play some some of this. That's what I am hoping to see here. Some of these shops that will attract people to come and buy here. And it's gonna sweet as well as another uh, source of economic and another way to sell the products that we make in the farming area and in the future that we're gonna start with doing now um forestry area that we're gonna be having in here another thing that you can see is that i am struggling with the fire and that's mainly because we have a lot of trees and yeah we are getting a lot of fires in all the series but i added these fire wash towers as you can see in here that they tend to 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 call the helicopters quicker so that's gonna help with that i have my helicopter depot in here and i think that we're gonna have a better attention to the fire in the few moments that we're gonna be playing right now so our commercial area is growing i think that i'm gonna mix this with some residential because we are struggling with the workers and i'm gonna continue doing the stuff that i am supposed to be doing i'm gonna make this over here a bridge a very beautiful bridge we're gonna go across the the rail line and we're gonna start our forestry industry in a moment
side and you can see that now we are getting real to this area we are getting better in the appeal you can see that all the trees are more like what we have in this build you can see i changed the bush and all the ones that we have there's a huge difference in the in the appeal of the city it resembles more what we have in here in the natural part of the city and what we have done in here there are small parts that we can fix a little bit later and another thing that you can see is that we have now not the sign of of not enough workers that's because everybody is now moved into the houses everybody is working on their workplace and we have a few big areas that we are growing in high density and you can see that i expanded this area that we had in here i'm trying to get attached to all these ones that look more rustic and that maybe make the general appeal for what we have in here i'm gonna be destroying all the ones that i don't i don't like but this is gonna give like a small touch to this area in here and to this area i did what you had expected i changed the trees because this one are very bright the ones that come with the with the asset it doesn't suit the vibe for the map that we have and i went to these ones that look more natural and and are the ones that we have in the map we are starting small you can see that our budget you maybe cannot see because it's so so small but you can you at some point of the time lapse you saw that we were in red and now we are making a lot of money because we are gonna have like a balance when you start placing these things they are going to be importing from the outside because they these ones haven't started producing yet but now that they are start the production you can see here that we don't have any imported in, importing right now and but at the at the start we have a lot of importing this number is gonna change when we start bringing this out and this is gonna be making us a lot of money and yeah we are we are struggling with these fires that we have they are tearing our city apart i don't know what i'm going to do i'm by the moment i'm gonna destroy these ones so they can regrow and maybe we don't lose that amount. but one thing that i am thinking on doing is go to the options let's go to gameplay and let's see there's a part where you can see the the fire disable fire spreading i think that i'm gonna click on that because i am very tired of having these fires in the in the woods i think that this what this makes is that you can have a random fire in here and this is not gonna go to the to the woods and that's something that is really annoying me i don't like to play without that because that makes things less uh realistic but that's gonna be it for for the moment i'm not gonna play with that because i am really 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 tired of these massive fires that we have so right now i'm gonna keep on on growing this area but this is gonna be made off camera so we can move on to another part of the build so let's see you in a few moments all right everyone and here we are we are in the middle of the expansion i had to do something with the realistic population mode i'm gonna show you what 
you can see here that we have four households. If you download these same assets, they are gonna come with only one household. And I think the four at least is the most suitable for this type of houses because you can see that they have at least three separate entries. And I think that this one could be even a duplex by itself because it's some extra height. So I went one by one and I changed all the the household that we that it could support so that's gonna be it at least for this type of houses you can see now that i am experiencing a a massive outcome of people moving into the to the area and a lot of people uh, walking and doing stuff to other parts of the city because this is a very populated area one thing that i wanted to do now is to do the correct thing with that i'm gonna start using rico in here because i cannot get the right thing to spawn in here and and i know that i can do a lot of things better so i am going to to delete the zoning and I'm going to delete manually everything. So everybody is gonna rush to their cars and they are gonna look for another place to work. I even going to delete all of this because I find that I could spread this thing out when I get all the shops and stuff that I'm gonna leave it by now because I'm gonna copy these assets and I'm gonna move them to other places so let me show you how i'm going to do i'm gonna use the find find it mode then i'm gonna click on eco commercial let's see let's go to the vanilla and let's check those that are one unit wide in here we can find these ones that i really love that we can plop in here and we can check out these ones that are small tents that can work we can find these ones that are very nice these are like the same one that are these these other ones look mostly like the same so they are gonna switch the vibe and these ones are the one that I am going to be trying to avoid because these are very modern with all these glasses and stuff. And this one is the same thing. So I'm gonna stick to these ones, even though that this is a modern one, this, this could maybe do something for us because it's very organic and, and I don't know. Maybe we can expand our, our range. Try to look for something else. We are very limited, I think, in here. Oh, we can make use of these ones too. I wanna display them at least, the ones that I'm going to be using and check out what I can do with that when we are in the time lapse you can see that maybe a lot of them are gonna stay the same way that they are and you can see that there are a lot that doesn't look because what i want to do is to have like a market like a small market in here and yeah i think that these are going to be the ones that I'm going to be using. So let's do a quick time lapse and let's see what I can do here with all these chops and all these details that I could put in there. So let's do that and I'll see you in a moment.
And well, here we are at the market area. Let's call it like that. This is going to be, well, I see people standing on the roof. I don't know why, but well, this overall looks very, very like what you could maybe find in an old medieval town that is being conserved by the people who lives in there that loves the appeal of a good old medieval area and this is going to be like the the market area maybe i could find one of those assets that look like a seller like these props that comes with this this collection which is called paris has a lot of things that you could use if you are building something like that and I know that I have those props, but I am not the good uh, having patience detailing areas. And I think that I am done with this area. But overall, you can see that it turned out to be something very nice and works also like a park. You can see in here that it provides a very good amount of entertainment, a leisure value in here and let's see the land value how it's doing in this area you can see that over here is starting to build something up even going to this area because everybody loves to be nearby this area i have to work on this area here maybe when we build this park in here something is going to change but you could see that this park in here made a good change with this area. And now I can see in this view that I am dealing with a big amount of traffic that looks to be coming to this area in here. So I had to provide with better access through this area in here. And yeah, maybe in here too, because I had this traffic light I'm gonna be doing something something to this in the next few minutes but right now you can see overall that we are building this area up very nice and these guys that lives in this castle they are gonna have something to look on their realm you can see that through the woods you can see all the activity that we have in here and that's something very good very good so i'm going to be checking out the the tra what could i do with the traffic and maybe i'm going to bring some stuff to do with this forestry area that we have at level two already so let me do that and i'm gonna see you to end the episode on a moment
Okay, and you can see now what I am talking about. We are here with a very clean traffic. I just did a small tweaks to this area. I had a few problems because this network tend to do this and I need a mod to fix that. And I wanted to stick to the general appeal of what we have in here. So I don't want to start using different type of networks. You could see that with a few tweaks, everything is flowing here and we are almost at the end of the wave of people moving into this area because this is almost populated at all. We are going to do some small housing areas in here, but this is going to be like that. I don't think that we're going to grow a lot of houses more than what we have in here. I did a small park in here. I tend to add something that attracts a lot of people like this windmill that looks very nice. I'm going to be a lot of decoration in this uh, off cameras because I'm very toasted right now. I don't have any idea of what I could do in here. I even forgot to put and entrance in here but right now this is making what is supposed to be making this is providing a very nice boost of the leisure area that we have in here everybody is very happy in here we have people sad in here but almost everybody in this area lives very happy and the land value you could see that this was all white and we had nothing of blue in here. Now this is turning a little bit green and this is going to start mixing with this and we're going to have a very nice land barrier in here. This is getting to good. This is getting to good. And this area along the river is gaining value. So this is a good thing to, to see because the land value is something that will help us to get rid of these abandoned houses that we have one and other in few time to time. But yeah, I'm very happy with what we have done in this episode. I am going to do some small research of what can I do to detail this area in here. And my next target is to to put some trains and stuff. We have a huge population, so we have unlocked the, the cargo and the passenger train. And that's gonna be good because you could see in, in the bus tab, let's see here, you could see that we have, this one is very congested. And this one is the one that connects with the area over here so everybody's trying to get from this area to this area to work and and people from here is trying to get to here to work in this area too so we're gonna do something maybe with the the, the train network that we have and people will gonna start moving on to their workplaces more efficiently right now you could see that we have 18 buses in this lane and we still have few stops that are like this one that has a lot of people waiting for their bus and let's see in the commuter destination they are trying to get to work in here and some of them are people that is trying to come to here so this is going to be done in the next episode or in the next few episodes. We're going to have a transportation network that will come from here directly to here. 
so people don't waste their time in their bosses and we can delete this boss lane and make it more local so that's going to be it for this episode in the next episode we are going to start doing something in here let me get out of this view because even though this is a big area i as i told you i don't want to to use the space that we have inside the forest so we're gonna stick to this small area to grow and we're gonna connect this main avenue with the highway so we can get another way to enter to this area which is getting very populated summit summit district already has you could see is almost 10,000 citizens it's 9,700 but it's growing so we are going to make a lot of of this area in here in Fisherstown we have only mm, 1700 mostly because everybody is living in low density areas but we're gonna get to a point where we are gonna be expanding to this to this and yeah the city is turning to be something very interesting by now so I think that I gave you something that will convince you to subscribe to the channel and keep on with this series because it's gonna turn out to be something very fun and very interesting so subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up this really helped me to get to more people and don't forget to comment so you can give me your thoughts on the on the episode so for the name of the city i left it to the end but i'm gonna change the name of the city to the comment that i think that is the best that it was king's land it came i think from one of the ideas came from mostly i think from the new series that is tuned in hbo that i think that the last episode aired last week and it's called the house of dragons and everybody is paying a lot of attention to that and i think that the guy that gave me that suggestion had that on mind because it's almost the same as the city where everything happens in the series so without anything more to say the city is gonna be called kingsland from now on and thank you everybody for being here see you in the next episode